there were the mosquitoes who were living beside the river bed you know sometimes mosquitoes they make their houses and they dwell and they um, infest on that and they so in that their dwelling place was disrupted for some reason it's a old story teaching story so it was in trouble some thing came and it destroyed so the mosquito said that uh, okay we will deal with ourselves and however the circumstances are but we should find something better living place accommodation for our king like uh, bees have a queen that's a mosquito is our king so we should follow we should find something good place to live for the king so they did mashwara and they, he was the unanimous king and they did mashwara amongst them and they said yes we should find a place and what they found was an elephant as you say one of the largest animals mammals here now and the ears of elephant are quite big flappy ears you say so said that this will be a safe place because a big animal very strong and the ear to live in the ear or just actually beside the ear will be very safe and thing okay so now this king of mosquitoes come his sound and buzzing could not be heard and says to to the mammal the elephant oh elephant i am the king of mosquitoes and i am blessing you to stay in your ear part of you and you should feel privileged and honored the elephant couldn't hear what's what's happening what's saying he couldn't even know something is there and he said yes i'm well i have come here i am the unanimous king of mosquitoes and i will be honoring you to, for my stay for some time here and there he goes and stays and the elephant even doesn't know now after his community came back and said that now we have found a place we've made another dwelling place now you can come back so now the mosquito actually goes towards the outside the ear and he says to the uh, elephant again well i am the king of mosquitoes thank you uh, until i wanted to live i have lived and thank you for that and <coughs> i am going now no the elephant had not ever any idea what's happening or mosquito was calm or gone or whatever he might be king by himself so the story goes like this and what the lesson of the story is that compared to the nature which allah has created the universe the malaika and others we are living in the galaxies in one of the galaxies the galaxy is small as well and from the galaxies we are living in a solar system is small and from the solar system we are living on the earth and from the earth we are living on something and then we consider ourselves that okay who ever comes king from us like mosquito is i am the president to the nature to angels to allah subhanahu wa taala they're not bothered it doesn't matter to them what's happening as such as allah is ghani and his nature is ghani what's happening in <coughs> other planets in jannah and other things actually it doesn't make any difference but allah azza wa jalla is merciful he pays attention obviously but i'm t- talking about the nature so those people of amongst us who thinks we have a status and we do and we you know roam around and drive around in our cars and helicopters and things the angels laugh what are they doing they, you know they are like mosquitoes and saying i'm king of mosquito i am counselor of this and this